Jesus. Ooh, I swallowed a gnat. I hate it when that happens. Sorry. Ooh, that guy went way down too. I caught, he caught me right in the middle of the throat. I think it was a gnat. Anyway, that's not really what I'm concerned about today. Like I said, I've made up my mind. I'm taking the treasure. I'm going down to see Forrest Finn. I'm calling ahead. I'm going to ask to see him in whatever way he wants to see me. If he wants to even say, I'm sorry, I'm busy, don't bother me. I'm glad you found it, fine. But if he wants to actually have some sort of a get-together and has any legal advice, that'd be wonderful, too. Uh, I am going to give him his bracelet, and I'm not going to charge him for it because I just think that's ungracious, really, um, if you've already got the treasure to... You know, he said you can sell him this bracelet he wants back, and I just <laughs> I can't do that. That's just bad. And then I'm going to go home and keep it and put it in a safe deposit box and uh, call up a lawyer that I know and um, who uh, lives here in town and is very well established, and I've dealt with him many years ago. And uh, he's, he's quite an accomplished lawyer, and he's... Uh, took on an oil company for some people that was on his wall when you were in his office and he uh, took on an oil company and I forget how many millions he got for these people but he's quite an accomplished lawyer so I'm not really concerned I mean that kind of gets to what's coming up here a little bit but uh, bottom line is I'm just taking the treasure and going home with it after I see Mr. Fenn okay here's here's what got me revved up to keep doing these legal blogs I'm not a lawyer uh, but I'm smart enough to at least read stuff and understand it. So, uh, in that capacity, I'm going to say some things that are out there for anyone else to look for if they want to. Somebody on one of my blogs, blogs said, were you aware of the fact that there are groups of people that when the treasure is found, they plan to sue for part of the treasure? because of their blog sites or blogs what they're saying is the best I could understand what they're saying is uh, these people essentially have put out enough information over the t over time that they feel entitled at least legally they think they could they could be construed to be entitled to part of the treasure because they've offered out all these ideas and stuff on the face of it it's a dumb idea I thought of it when I first started getting into this whole business. I started looking for the treasure back in August of last year. I've been in it less than a year. I've made three trips now. This upcoming one will be my fourth. A long time ago, I realized that when we were discussing, you know, because on these logs and blogs, people just said, oh, get on there and oh, I was here and I was there and I think it could be here. Well, we were there and we looked through there and we picked through there and we didn't find it. And well, we're going back. And well, I think you should have gone over here. And people have literally said on my blogs that they, I pissed them off because, uh, I pissed them off because they saw spots that I should have stopped and looked at. You know what I mean? So it's a very interactive it's a very interactive uh, medium, the internet with the uh, come and going, uh, the comments and all. And so you get this sense of you are actively involved in the hunt, but you know what? You're not. You're not. That's what the law has already established, and I'll get into that. Blogs and blogs, legally speaking, are copyrighted when you write them and make them. They're copyrighted. Um, Vlogs are very simple. You know, when you're speaking legally of a vlog, a video log, 90% of the law concerning video logs is the same as blogs, written blogs. So, the only place that video logs, vlogs, really make a difference, excuse me, is when you introduce soundtracks, and things like that into your blog, you could of course run into copyright issues with the person who made the music. We all know what I'm talking about if you've made a blog. What is happening is the other day in a comment someone said do you realize that there are these people that are out there and they're going to try to sue whoever gets the treasure. 
that concept occurred to me one of the first times I was ever on a blog back a year ago when I started this, or less than a year ago when I started this, because I realized I was on these log sites and I was making comments and other people were making comments and we were discussing the hunt for this treasure chest. And it occurred to me, gee, isn't this legally somehow kind of compromising that we're all discussing this hunt? What I found out was this. When you make a blog or a blog, you create a copyrighted work. You basically own it. But here's the quote that I'm going to read you about what that means when I say your blog blog is copyrighted. And this very important distinction. You wrote it, you own it. This also applies to photographs and images. This is something that you, a photo you took or an image you created with a video, like a lot of us do with the hunts where we put out videos, like I've done. If it's created in a tangible medium, if your vlog in your blog is a tangible medium, then you're copyrighted. What do they mean by that? What they mean by that is your blog and your vlog are protected. Do you understand what I'm saying? Not the ideas. Big, big difference. If I take your picture that you have on a blog or a vlog, and I use that picture, then you can bust me for copyright infringement. For the vast majority of us who aren't celebrities and don't have any money, any images or whatever that's being monetized, it hardly matters, but you know what I'm trying to say. Um, if, you, if you take written copy and copy and paste it and use it, that can be a copyright infringement, except that you can use it for what are called, uh, I don't know the exact terms, but it's basically educational purposes. You're basically taking something and you're replicating it to elucidate a point, uh, to, a, to, to further describe a situation. You can do that and get away with it. I suppose a person could hassle you about it and you can say, look, I was just using it for education and you know, no one's gonna pursue it. Your vlog and your blog are protected, but you are completely wrong. And the law backs me up on this, and the law is already established on this, that your ideas are protected. Very big issue for you guys out there that think, oh, let's have a forum, for instance, where we discuss uh, a particular area, and let's get all of our ideas together. And, you know, one out of a hundred guys that's going out hunting, he, he's able to put in his concept, and it's all on your vlog, you know, your forum, or a vlog that you do where you simply get comments. And then later on, um, the treasure turns up, and you go, you know what? That guy got that idea because of being on my vlog. He got that idea because of my blog. The whole informational situation that I created for all of us to figure out where this is, I created that and so therefore when he found that chest, when he finds that chest, I should be able to go forward and say, he was only able to get to that chest because of my blog helping him. Doesn't work that way, folks. Doesn't work that way. I hate to, I hate to bust your smarmy ass, but if you're the people that do that kind of stuff, you're smarmy. There is an expression in here that is absolutely perfect for what... Uh, uh, there's a perfect expression for it. It's called idea squatting. I love that. Idea squatting. The concept that you can take ideas, banter them around, and just because you've kind of squatted in this concept, later on you can, you can uh, claim to have... A, part of the solve monetarily. I mean, 
Get off your fat ass and go out and find the goddamn thing is what I'm saying. Don't sit around trying to dream up ways to take the treasure away from someone that actually goes out and finds it. And by the way, that going out and finding it is at the heart of why you're never going to get away with sitting on people's ideas and waiting for someone else to bring them to fruition or your own ideas or their ideas. And bring them to, they, someone else brings it to fruition and you step forward and basically, oh, that's my idea. Or my forum allowed him to come up with that idea. I mean, who are you kidding? You don't think anyone's never thought of that before? People have thought of it before, and I'm just telling you, the law has already thought of it before. It's already established law. You can't do it. 